Hello, this is going to be my 8th tutorial on 3D Rad, and this one is going to be about how to make explosions stop. So, to start with, add a timer, an event timer. This one. Okay, then double click it, and make the parameters and time. 10,000 and 10,000 for both and make sure the start of time range in seconds is 0, 0 and etc. And make sure that the working at start is unchecked like this. Now add a value print so we can get a value from it. So my time wants, I want two decimal places so point dot i mean percent dot two f i'm gonna do and put it up there zero nine and i'm gonna relate it to the event of event timer and if that happens then if you do that then put in event timer the last seconds is the value to print now you should get well now once it um does that now when it's um to get it to start relate the event and contact to the event timer make sure when this happens then put in start on contact in event timer like this so now um it should work once it gets into contact it the timer should run so now it works now you got your timer and um now to Make sure it stops when um what the particle stop when um it's um like when it's in contact. So when it stops after two seconds, after two seconds it's gonna um, it's gonna disappear the particles. So I'm gonna do trigger within value range trigger if within the following min max range. So I'm gonna do two. And just type in any big number like this. I recommend about this, but you don't need so many. So now relate to the value print and the particles. So then you can get value print. So displayed value is going to be monitored. So that means that the mo v value that's going to say is going to be monitored with this range and the particles will have to stop when i mean hide when when this ha when this uh condition in this condition and then the event timer is going to have to be stopped so now we can try it out so now after two seconds it's the particles are going to disappear. But then they're going to be up here again, which is a problem. So to uh, pr to so to stop to to prevent that, then add a value print. Like no add a counter first. So then, once you added the counter, then add a value, a value print. So the counter will be executed. So wait, the initial value has to be zero, and the increment ha can be negative, has to be one. So then, um, you can see. So um. Now, once you get the value print, 
then relate to the counter and put in counter value is the value to print and on the event and contact relate to do counter and put in start and contact so then the counter will will execute once it um, hits the ground so it's going to calculate how many times you um you hit the ground so now once you've got that add a event on value so once you get um one time in contact then the particles should be hidden i do one to um that much particles should be hidden so we can just put in 1.0001 like this so um you make sure it stops and now um related to the value print so the thing so do this and um the just wait a minute just, um check what i put in and put particles and put the event timer no i do not need the event on time event timer on this one so now the value print will be monitored and the particles will be hidden once it gets past that range so now i can try it out just one more time what well, it i think it um thought that um um, hit twice if that happens then do 2.0001 so now it should be okay because once I um I just have to try it okay so it hit once and the next time it doesn't so now it's like stops like this and now, just to um, make make the game more comfortable, then make the value print, untick, visible at start, and make the other one like that also. So now, you have no no um, things like that. So it's only going to explode once, theoretically. And then, it should, ob well, obviously, it's... it's um, was obviously a malfunction but anyway the first time has worked so um that should be it just wait i'm gonna i'm gonna just try it again just um in case it doesn't work just um one more time so i got two detections and the third one should not. Now, if I try it again, then it should work. So I'm going to try it just one more time. And if it doesn't work, then um, just do not do visible at start. Then um, just, just take, take visible at start and just put it in a text screen location where you cannot see it. Like 0 and 100. That you will not be able to see. So now you can um, just do it peacefully, and um, if that only if that pro problem occurs. Now, that should be good. If it doesn't work, then um, make a just consult me on the messages, and then. Um, that's it for today.